Hey guys, Lewis here, and welcome to XCOM 2. XCOM 2 is finally here, and I cannot wait to start playing. I've already played a little bit with the character pool. I'll be doing a showcase video later today. I'll probably upload that first before this episode, though, depending on how my render times go. But until then, let's just jump on into the game. Uh, I did mention that we are going to roleplay this a little bit, so I'll be putting myself in character, you know, as the commander of XCOM 2. So let's start a new game. Alright, so we have Rookie, appropriate for players to new tactical games or XCOM in general. Obviously not going to play on Rookie. We got Veteran, Challenge, appropriate for players familiar with XCOM. It's basically normal mode. Commander, a significant challenge for experienced XCOM 2 players only. And then Legend, a longer game with no margin for error, only the strongest XCOM players will survive. Tutorial will be not be enabled for the Legend difficulty. I'll be saving the Legend difficulty for a future playthrough, possibly a Long Wars 2 series if that comes out. The plan would be to do Legend, Iron Man, Long War 2. So that would probably be a future series for me regarding XCOM 2. But for the sake of this let's play, I'm going to be playing it on the Commander difficulty. I will go ahead and enable the tutorial because I would like to see what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to keep the beginner VO just for anybody who's new and subtitles will be on. So without further ado, let's start the game. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. things first. You need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that low wall. Copy. 
Copy that. Moving up. In position, but I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing, but see if you can't find a safer position further out. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. Crasher 2, stay close. Keep pace with Crasher 1. Double time. They're holding position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. Too close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. Take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Do it. first and celebrate later. No problem. I appreciate the bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful.
closing in on me. They got me flanked! Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's going to change. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. Anything that moves. The main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. Enforcements just hit the ground. They're getting nervous. Now I know we're in the right place. position. the door security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close.
Good. Let's go. Moving to secure the package. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? security grid just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. for me. Almost there. Stay focused. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. me twice.
decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. The cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... Uh... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years... ...have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the Archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back... ...Commander. It's good to be back. Let's take a look at the archives. What do we have here? Propaganda assessment, Advent Network Tower, Advent Public Historical Record, XCOM Project Historical Record. Initially conceived of as a means to defend against unforeseen threats to the Earth as a whole, the XCOM project was first outlined during secretive planning sessions conducted throughout the year 1993. Although these early discussions were only meant to establish the theoretical principles of defense against the unknown enemy, all agreed upon preparations were carried out by the participating council nations immediately. For more than two decades, the project remained dormant, with limited personnel records maintained by an agreed upon representative of the council. In February of 2015, long-distance scans indicated a number of large unidentified objects on a slow approach towards Earth. As agreed upon, the XCOM project was activated on February 10th, with key personnel assignments filled by the latest active candidates on file. In less than two months' time, open hostilities between the aliens and Earth's forces ravaged much of the planet's developed world, leaving the survivors desperate and alone. Hard to believe it's been 20 years. 20 years since that day. In July of 2015, the coalition government formerly known as ADVENT was first proposed by a small group of human politicians who stepped forth intent on negotiating with the elders. Despite the open hostility initially directed toward these peaceful alien visitors, they were receptive to the possibility of coexistence. 
Despite their effective conquest of Earth's combined militaries, the Elders allowed for the Pact of Unification, establishing Advent's governance. In the 20 years since, Advent has effectively served humanity and created an environment of peace and prosperity. We all know that's a lie. The aliens never wanted peace. They wanted something else. The Advent Network Tower is the central hub of the alien psionic network and their worldwide communication system. Although the tower itself is a readily identifiable fixture to those people living in the city centers, its overall function and the extent of its capabilities are still generally unknown. It is widely believed that the Advent peacekeeping forces are coordinated from somewhere within the tower. The following directives have been identified by resistance analysts based on a thorough review of Advent's ongoing propaganda effort. The aliens' key area of focus as directed towards the civilian populace are recruitment of an increasing number of civilians into the city centers, nurturing an atmosphere of distrust to encourage self-reporting among city center inhabitants, encouragement of the belief that so-called dissident groups are to blame for perceived faults, disassociation of traditional beliefs and value systems in favor of adulation for the elders. Radford was right. A lot's changed. This is a lot to take in at the moment. I may need some time to collect myself and get a handle on that whole situation. Until then, this is the Commander, signing off.